We live in a time of feelings before facts. Disagreements are interpreted as personal attacks. Believing in political correctness and progressive lies, this is how free speech is strangled and slowly dies. Swallowing the blue pill and burying our heads in the sand, denying reality is the new law of the land. Censorship rises and the thought police are intent on discovering the best ways to silence those who dissent. Let's pretend for a moment the problem is with the number four. I'll use it in this video as a kind of metaphor, a stand-in for the real problems that we aren't allowed mention. We simply cannot bring number four to people's attention. How can the marketplace of ideas truly thrive if we're forced to believe that two plus two equals five? It's not four anymore. That fact causes offense. Despite two and two equaling four making perfect sense, the media manipulates the story to omit number four, capitulating to politicians who cry, you can't say that anymore. Virtue signaling leftists become ever more regressive. Their cognitive dissonance is actually quite impressive. The mental gymnastics required to deny basic math must be exhausting and it's taking us down a very dangerous path. The left exacerbates the problem as they build their narrative, and stifling our free speech becomes their imperative. Their agenda being that 2 plus 2 equals 5, and they'll do whatever it takes to keep that story alive. They prevent us from disagreeing by introducing hate speech laws, but immediately we can see the very obvious fatal flaws. You see, their definition of hate speech is so deliberately nebulous, it's so vague and unclear to the point of being ridiculous. They shut down their opponents, block and report those who deny their intellectually dishonest mathematical lie. Government control of social media is an increasing concern. I'm still waiting for common sense and reason to finally return. An infantilized millennial generation is another major barrier. I am, of course, referring to today's social justice warrior. They've been seduced by Marxism and completely reject the freedoms their ancestors died to defend and protect. Sacrificing freedom for security comes at a great cost. Your civil liberties and personal rights will inevitably be lost. So the SJWs call us names like haters or bigots, but the government just loves these useful idiots. They'll use them to further their insidious plan, then criminalize all of us as soon as they can. They can't stand the idea that two plus two equals four. It seems humanity is no longer able for the truth anymore. Words, ideas, and thoughts they've never considered. They retreat to their safe space just in case they get triggered. So this is where we are now, with a disaffected youth and a society that continues to deny a simple mathematical truth. Tyranny is inevitable when censorship begins. Denying reality is one of humanity's deadliest sins. Freedom of speech and rational thought cannot survive in an environment that forces us to believe that 2 plus 2 equals 5. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and a massive thanks to Independent Man for animating my little poem here. He did a fantastic job. Be sure to subscribe to his channel, link below in the description box, because he produces awesome, engaging and insightful social commentaries of his own and deserves a hell of a lot more subscribers. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.